So the big announcement is that we're leaving. <gasps> Basically, it's unsafe for us to try and build during the really windy conditions here in the winter. So we're beginning the great migration, the 2023 season. And uh, yeah, we'll see where we go first. A new place, a new home for a while. Let me feel alive. Nothing to hold me back. Take my time. Just enjoy. <laughs> We're not in West Cliff. <laughs> We're not. We're not. And if you follow us on Instagram or your family, most family, mm -hmm. some friends, some you'd already friends. know. But pretty much if you're on Instagram, you know we've been here for, let's see, a little over two weeks we've been here now. Yeah, we just kind of wanted to catch you guys up uh, on why you are not seeing a construction video right now um, and why exactly we are in Taos, New Mexico. Mm -hmm. Really, it started back in October. We had a first windstorm on the property and my sister Lauren was there in her trailer and I think the wind, we didn't have our wind station up yet, but I think it got up to about 75 miles an hour and it was just really scary and it was like probably 36 hours of windiness, like none of us slept. We were legitimately concerned about the trailers like being blown over um, and that wasn't, that was me. <laughs> Even though I point to her, it was still very uncomfortable. I get it. I'll admit that <laughs> I didn't really, I wasn't really worried about it tipping over it, but it was like jarring. Yeah. You know, you're, it feels like you're on a boat, which I don't care to be on. And, um, and I'm not on a boat. <laughs> That's why we live in an RV and not a boat. Yeah. And then in November, we had another couple days of really strong wind. Several days. Yeah. Several days. And when we started talking to the locals, when we go into town, we started hearing, oh yeah, with like the climate change and just like the, the weather and the seasons like adjusting like they've been getting wind a lot more in the winter as opposed to what we had heard like when we went and visited and bought the land which was that the wind really was like in the spring like in april so we kind of figured out that it was going to be an ongoing problem and not like a one-off um we felt that we really needed to make like some decisions and change our plans for building over the winter we always had in the back of our heads that we might need to step away and do a slow travel um, we didn't really know why people were saying, oh, it's too cold. It's like, no, it's not. When you had the wind and the cold and you're trying to do something you've never done before outside, it makes for a very miserable time. So um, <laughs> I was, I was, I don't think I, there's a lot of stuff that we did. We didn't even film because I was just miserable. The whole, the whole idea of us doing this is to, you know, uh, build something for us, not everything's gonna be fun all the time. We gotta find joys in, in, in life and what you do and things like that. But I would come back inside and just be pissed off. <laughs> Cause I'll be like doing something and holding whatever it is I'm getting blown over. Even when we were trying to do the, put the solar panels on yeah. the mounts, like you could, wasn't really visible in our last video cause it was a time lapse. But Lauren and I were moving the solar panels basically from like the power shed to the array. One person trying to move the solar panel, we had to like time it with the wind because we were being blown over and just doing that, whatever it was like 12 times, I think, 16. or 16 times. Yeah. It was like, we were exhausted just from fighting the wind. So. And then whenever we did it together, we had to keep it like horizontal so the wind would <laughs> just go over, over and under it. We're like trying to like buffer it around the yeah. wind. And then we had to, we had to time like when we were doing the siding and the roofing yeah. on the power shed. So it's really, the wind has been a huge factor. We decided we're going to um, take our back of our head idea and do a little <laughs> traveling. So we started with Taos, New Mexico. Mm -hmm. um, we've been here a couple weeks now. We have two weeks left. Yep. So we're here for one whole month. It's fun because we were here in July. We were here for July 4th, if you guys watched that video. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, but we were here for two weeks that time when we were waiting for our campsite to be available in Westcliff when we moved up there. And it's a lot, lot different weather between July and almost December. But yeah. um, we've only had one windy day here, which that was, was yesterday. yesterday. This felt really different from the wind in Westcliff. Really? Uh, uh, yeah, it did. Because I, I think it was the angle of where mm -hmm. it was coming from. That makes it was sense. still a little like, like, I got a little woozy. Yeah, I was getting there. seasick. Yeah, 
was getting woozy. <laughs> and then, but I feel like the, the angle was coming more straight on. Mm. Um, not necessarily directly into, because the wind but no. goes straight on the other side into oh, the yeah. trailer and it's just like, you know. Literally just back and forth. Yeah. And so that's why Chelsea was scared that it's going to tip over. Um, if I, I would have been scared if it was like, I don't know, 50 miles an hour more when it gets over 100, 100. Which it will. It will. Which we've heard. Yeah, they said 140 at least once a season. Yep. So here we are now. Here we are. Life is good. Um, <laughs> people ask me what I'm doing. Hey, man, I'm just living my best life. Chelsea is still working remotely. Today's actually my last day at my current job. Mm -hmm. I'm getting a new job, though. <laughs> so, you know, it is what it is. Yeah. <laughs> and there's still plenty of things for me to do with this trailer. Um, and I love it. <laughs> I love emptying the tanks. It's so fun. Oh, man. RV chores are great. Yeah. Our RV's not, like totally ready for the cold mm -mm. um so we wake up in the morning and like 90 percent of the time we don't have water because it's frozen in our hose with the we did have a heated hose mm -hmm. and that that broke it was like working. too late to to to, yeah. to it worked for like a week and then it stopped or something but we have everything prepared it's on the way I don't need to be mansplained how to winterize. Please don't do that. I don't care. Go follow someone who knows what they're talking about yeah. if you want to learn about winterizing your RV. No. I guess if you're interested of where we're going this winter, we're calling it the Great Winter Migration of 2022 slash 23 because <laughs> my sister is still with us, actually. She's on the other side of here. Um, so she caravaned down with us from Westcliff to Taos. And when we leave um, in a couple of weeks, she's going to go do her own thing because she's tired of the cold. We're actually going to head back to Colorado um, to do some skiing in Durango. So that's our next stop. So we're going to do Durango. Then we're going <laughs> to, we're just boomeranging. This is going to be like a crazy list at first. We're going to go to Durango from Taos. After Durango, we're going to come to Santa Fe, which to be clear is like an hour away from here. Um, after Santa Fe, we will go to... And, and one reason why it might seem, seem like it might seem like we're going back and forth is, is availability. Mm -hmm. We kind of scheduled this after a lot of the other travelers um, booked their stuff. Their so it's very <laughs> difficult to find spots in, yeah. in places. I mean, there are some places we wanted to go and we just couldn't find any availability in the whole area yep. go on we're going to utah after oh yes yeah. so after santa fe we're going to and here's what we're thinking we tried to go to phoenix and couldn't find anywhere mm -hmm. so we're actually going to head north to um heber city utah right side of right outside of park city yep so we're right outside of salt lake city yeah yeah and we've been to park city before um, but haven't spent too much time in salt lake, salt lake city so that should be cool mm -hmm. um, my sister will actually rejoin us there as well so she's going to come back and travel with us and then after that, I think we're going to Vegas, right? Yeah. So we're going to spend a month in Vegas. Chelsea used to live there. <laughs> not not yeah. because she really... Not because I wanted to or yeah. liked it. But, uh... And I've basically been there for work for weeks at a time. Oh. Mm -hmm. But we are foodies, so we're going to eat some food. Yeah. If any of our friends want to meet us there, let us know. Hit us up. We'll tell we're you the dates. Joking. <laughs> yeah, let us know and we will uh, go get some some good scrumptious food. Yeah, so Vegas is the last stop we have planned that gets us into April, and then we're gonna reevaluate and probably make our way back to Colorado and hopefully be in Westcliff in May. Um, very tentative, you know, it's supposed to still be windy then, so we're just gonna, that's the one thing we're gonna kinda like wait and see how it goes, but we would love to get in some more Colorado skiing, and April should be a good time for that, so I have a feeling we'll at least be around the ski resort area then. Mm -hmm. uh, we're not really travel vloggers, but we'll have some some videos of like where we're going and what we've been up to because, you know, we may be in one place for like a month, but we're still definitely tourists. Like we've done some cool stuff in Taos while we've been here so far and we're excited to get some skiing in tomorrow actually. Mm -hmm. So yeah. when Chelsea says skiing, she means snowboarding for me and for her sister. So mainly uh, most of us are snowboarders, so. Ski we'll is just, just a shorter word. It is. <laughs> it is. It's wrong though. You just don't. You just... <laughs> We're going to Tao Ski Valley <laughs> and I'm going to ski. She's going to so ski. So I'm going to say skiing. No, I'm just teasing. <laughs> no, but yeah, I've never skied before. But it is true. Lauren and Brian are snowboarding. So yeah. Skiing is snowboarding. Yeah. But yeah. But go, we're go I like to say go into the mountain. Oh, well, that's a good thing. Going to the mountain. We're going to go to the mountain. Yeah. yeah. I think that's all we got. Yeah. You have any questions or concerns? 
<laughs> Keep those to yourself. <laughs> and then questions will take. Questions will take. We might answer them. Just kidding. <laughs> Just put them down below. Holy, we'll get to them. Holier than thou. If you want to be ahead of the curve and like know where we're going before everyone else does, I would suggest subscribing to our Instagram. Because if you did, you'd already know that we're here. <laughs> go to the hot springs. Go to if you hear hot springs anywhere, just go. Just go. We've got just a video. Go. We're gonna talk about it it's on there. So cool. It was so good. So yeah, that's our little teaser. I'm Stay cold. tuned. We gotta go. It's cool. Bye. Bye. <laughs>